I am now going to teach you how to animate your characters by using Vibe Tools Physic. Uh, now I am opening the software. There is a 3ds Max 9. Yeah, now it's opened. Now I am going to open my character. That is the Hooded Stranger. I am going to come here and drag it here and open it. Now I need to put a Vibe this one so that it uh, the skeleton will animate the character you need to press ctrl alt z to uh, fit it on the screen on uh, properly in the views so press ctrl alt z in all the views now i'm going to go straight away to the systems and so i'm going to select the vibe and left click from here in the front view and drag it And after doing it, you, ran, you need to right away come to the motion panel, and then you need to select the small man standing here. Now the pipe is editable, and press F3 to come out of wireframe mode. and now I'm going to go to the X-ray mode select the model and press Alt X and I'm not going to be needing the arms because I'm not going to animate the arms so come to the motion panel here select the pipe come to the motion panel here and come to the structure here Deselect this arm so that I am not needing the arms. The spine links I am going to decrease. Decrease it, decrease it. Yeah, I am going to do it. Now I am going to scale this one so that it fits for the whole body. But I am going to do it in the front too so that it properly fits. I don't know if you had it. Yeah, pressing shift that will bring you the viewport properly. Now, for example, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scale the bone so that it fits for the entire body. Select the bone and scale it. And you need to come here and position the foot where it needs to go. And you again need to scale the leg bones. And we will doing it in the user mode as well. That's not so good. So I'm going to come in the perspective and then do it. So if I I'm going again to the left view and I'm positioning the bipe in the right sprite position so press H select bipe it will catch it by, by, by the balls so then move it now the bipe is very well placed inside the model so next time I'm again going to scale the bones so that it takes the complete model Now I'm going to scale it now. Scaling is here, yeah, okay. Now I'm going to scale it, scale it, scale it. Scale it. Scale this one as well, select and scale it. I'm feeling it's not positioned properly. The pipe has to go back a little bit. I mean, let me check out. I'm pressing H to go to the selected object to the to select the objects and select. And I'm now, now selecting the pipe and select. I'm 
and I'm moving this where it has to go. Again, select the I'm again going to select the bone and scale it so that it covers the whole leg. Select the bone and then scale it. Select the bone, select the bone, select the bone, select the bone and scale it. And now I'm again going to come to the uh, spine links and scale them as well. Spine links mean you have to go to the structure and you can see here the spine links have taken three. Now I am supposed to scale this small one as well. I pretty much want to make sure that it's cover, it's, it covers the entire body and uh, it doesn't leave any pixels behind so it shouldn't look odd. I don't know whether how the result might come because uh, I have not practiced, it from not practiced it properly. So then I am going to select the head and again scale it so it covers the whole body. And just now we are pretty much done with it. Now I'm going to come to the perspective and I'm here. I'm going to select to the, uh, select this view and press shift set. And I'm going to get the front view. Now this is the thing what we have here. Now I'm selecting the model. If you want to see, press H and select the box too. That is my character. Select. And then what you have to do is you need to apply the physic modifier. That's what this is all about. And you pay, need to press this little man here and press select and pick it and initialize it uh, well it's pretty much done um, let me see whether uh, I've done it properly or not yes it's bending the leg properly let's take on it suppose you select the bone not the character so here see here there is little bit problem I have not scaled the bone properly so let me scale it and pick it up properly now I am uh, still it's still it's uh, it has started some vertices so what you need to do is you have to come to you need to come to the motion panel no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, you have to select the character, and you need to go to the uh, physic envelope, and you need to select the bone. And you need to radially scale it, so it uh, pretty much covers the whole foot. I'm pretty sure it's covering the whole foot, and uh, I. I am supposed to no it has taken the entire body it's not a problem here so I'm going to select the head it's not selecting the head the bone is getting selected but the head is not selected oh yeah it is getting selected it covers pretty much the whole head my, uh, my, my not my whole head the, my character's whole head <laughs> so then pretty much done now I am going to make it work and show it to you how it works this is a simple tutorial this is totally unprofessional but it's just meant for amateurs I am supposed to hide the skeleton so I am going to press H and then select by and select this one and I am going to the helpers 
and I'm going to this one. What is this known as? Wait a minute. Display. And I'm going to hide select it. Now it's not gone because I don't know why. I'm going to select. It has only selected the head, so I again press H and select the wiped. It catches it by the balls, you can see it in the X ray view. Press Alt X. It catches it by the balls. I don't know what this green box here. Why is it appearing here? I am not. I don't know why it's appearing here. You have to figure that out. Okay then let me hide the skeleton. Let me go to display and then press hide selected. Oh the character was done. Oh, sorry, I am now supposed to again press H select the biped one and hide selected. The I don't know why it's not actually uh, hiding the whole skeleton itself. Well, let me press H and select the whole skeleton. Shift select. Shift and press the arrow button down and you can select the complete thing. Then select and then you need to hide them. Just need to press hide select it and it's gone. let me make it move I am going to hide go to unhide all and now I am going to go to the biped one select the biped one it catches it by the balls here it's selected here it catches it by the balls so then uh, what I am supposed to do now is Let me make this work, that's what we are looking for, isn't it? So, my character is going to walk. I need to adjust some small things here. I'm going to come to the motion panel. Before I press this, this uh, press H and select the biped. And... Come to the footstep mode. So here is the footstep creation method. So here you can create the footsteps and here you can create a multiple footsteps. I'm pressing it here. I'm creating some 11 footsteps. And I think it's enough. Now everything is pretty much done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the character. That is a box too. And I'm going to come out of the extreme mode by pressing Alt H. Now I'll hide the whole skeleton and the footsteps so that it walks. I press Shift now select the arrow key, down button, down button, arrow key, and select the whole thing. and go to the helpers display not the helpers I'm sorry to the display and go to hide select now it's gone oh I'm sorry I didn't key in the frame so I'm going to undo and I'm again going to go to the motion panel and I'm coming here to the footstep mode it's pretty much done I not key the footsteps so Create key for inactive footsteps. You should do that one. Now the character is has started to move. So now what I'm going to do is I'm 
I'm going to press H select the by 01 and all the skeleton parts and just leave our box 02 character here select all the bones I mean the whole skeleton and then come to display and hide selected that's it now I'm going to press the play let me see see my character is walking there is a little bit of problem here I don't know why it's properly not adjust probably because it's the radial scale or whatever it is it's not properly adjusted so it's done with the pretty much I'm sure what I'm going to do the best I'm sorry because it's it was not a, not a big success it is not moving properly I mean it is uh, now it's pulling the vertices here and so we need to again make sure and go there back and check the uh, radial scale go to envelope press the little man and do everything so okay bye